Hey guys, Jessica Henry here. Wanted to say hello and um, have a very happy Memorial Day weekend. Um, I thought I'd uh, sort of celebrate that today with doing something a little bit fun. Um, I'm just gonna focus on painting an American flag. I thought it'd be kind of cool just to um, just to share how I would just focus on one thing. I did one just a little bit ago, and so this is an example of what we're gonna be doing. So just uh, just a basic American flag, and I love. What I loved about it was this transparent quality. So that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how I got that on this canvas. I did start this one out with a tone on it, like a blue tone. I don't have that on this one, so we're just gonna jump in and leave the background white. And I'm gonna try to work fast because the, uh, for whatever reason, last time I was at this park, I didn't get, I got started out getting reception and then this time I do, I don't know, so we'll see. <laughs> um, again, if I lose it, if I lose reception, then I will just finish filming and upload it in two parts. All right, so jumping in. What I have here is my regular setup, and like I said, I just did this painting, so I still have those colors kind of mixed on my palette, and there's only a few, so I'm just gonna leave them there. Um, this is my easel that I have. This is an outdoor uh, painting easel called, it's a brand called Open M, Open M Box, Open Box M. And uh, this is just a 12 by 12 canvas. You might be able to see an image on it. I did have a different painting, but I just gessoed over it and ready to go for this little study. And then, um, I have my little bucket of Gamsol on the side of my, there's a little knob here that sticks out and you can just kind of hang that on it. I have my linseed oil over here. And then on my palette box for colors, I just have titanium white, cad yellow light, yellow ochre, um, burnt sienna, ultramarine blue, and I'm gonna use some cobalt blue today, and some phthalo green, a lizard crimson, and I've also added some cad red medium. So. I am gonna get in. I've got a sketch I did, uh, just a thumbnail. Whenever you're working on anything that is moving, <laughs> you wanna try to capture it quick with a drawing. Uh, like ocean waves, an animal, or in this case, this flag does not hold still. <laughs> so I have, I just did a sketch, sort of a way that I thought that would, it just kinda was flowing nice, so I captured it in my mind. And so even while I painted, I did make subtle changes on that. But I'm gonna just sort of refer to this as I'm going. And since this isn't really like a standard plein air painting where or, you know we, you're dealing with composition and stuff I am just gonna keep it really simple and just kind of do a fun background I did it a little bit darker on my study so that that part that is glowing really looks like it's glowing I really wanted that effect all right so I am going to put that aside and jump in a uh, couple of words also about plein air painting um, you want to make sure to bring your paper towels and um, I actually had to go home and change I was wearing a bright blue shirt but um, what happens is, is if you, the colors of your clothes can bounce off on your canvas and can affect the choices you make in um, your color mixing. So I just threw on a neutral shirt and it just it, it makes a difference. Um, also, your hat. Uh, right on the inside of this brim, a lot of times in some other hats you get like green or reds or whatever up in here and that can affect your visual, what you see peripherally and it can affect your color choices that you mix. So I try to keep this just really neutral. This is gray. Some of my other hats are white. Um, or just tan and then it doesn't really affect your color choices at all so two things there to pay attention to and also when you're out I'm in the direct Sun here and it's about 85 pushing upper 80s today it's pretty hot and um, stay hydrated really you I have water down here and um, get your sunblock this is a long sleeve shirt I'm, I'm pretty fair skin so you know you do what you can <laughs> all right so I'm gonna jump in now now that I've talked everybody's ears off, I hope that uh, helps a little bit. Um, there's so much to plein air painting and you know, just take little bits at a time and the key is to just get out there and just jump in and do it. Um, so I am starting with burnt sienna and ultramarine blue and I just make a inky soupy mixture. I'm just starting with this mixture just so that I can draw it in place. And I think, I think you can see it. Okay, so again, I'm looking at this flag across the street and I'm just gonna get the, just the basic where I want it to sit in the confines of this square. And um, just gonna let it hang. And this part here just sort of forms a triangle where the stripes and the blue come down. And then the rest has this kind of really elegant, sort of a fold. Let's give that a little more space. Stripes. 
strikes are going this direction. You always want to hold your brush very loose at the beginning. Because um, you don't want to get in there and get all finicky with little things, and then it can get away from you. I hold it very loose because I'm looking at everything as a whole. They're, I'm at a park, so they're doing all things of lawn care and whatever, so lots of noises. That's part of the plein air experience, right? white that's right next to the blue. <laughs> I want to make sure we get that right. That's white, so this one's red. And for now I'm just representing it as a tone. And then um, the next one, red. And then the bottom one is red. And then over here, waiting for it to hold still. I'm just kind of looking at it and watching. Oh, here we go. Okay, so the stripes go this way. So we got our red down here. It comes up right there. Hold still, hold still. Okay. <laughs> so I, pretty much I have my drawing in place. So that is where I'm gonna go with that. And if I miss your comments, I can um, see them when I get back home and pull up my computer, but um, I, it's so dark here with the glare on the on the thing, so I may not be able to see them very well. Okay, so I'm just pulling this back in place as I see it. All right, so now I'm going to just jump in with some color. Getting, I'm going to get the blue just loosely in place. Ultramarine blue. A little bit of cobalt blue into that and loosely just laying in a tone where I see it. Starting to be cognizant of where I see it a little bit darker and a little bit um, brighter. As the light is shining through the blue, I'm noticing that right in this passage in here, I'm going to make it glow because it just really, it, all the way down here, the light's shining through, and that's what drew me to this. And then um, this is a darker blue because the light is not shine through this passage. So I'll just paint that a little bit darker. Like that. And I kind of I'm letting my brush strokes show the form in the way that I want the the flake sort of to lay that way. Okay, now I'm gonna just take some of this cadmium red and a little bit of alizarin crimson and just start to lay it down where I see the red. I'm not worried at this point too much about the value either here. Just loosely, trying to get the right width in this passage here. And I have a little bit of oil, I'll just grab some of that just to thin it down a little. I was thinking when I was on the way over here um, how much this this holiday, Memorial Day, means to me. My daughter is marching in a Memorial Day parade on Monday, and um, she just signed up for the Army Reserve. So she leaves for boot camp in literally two weeks, or just about, June 12th. So, it's very, it's emotional. <laughs> give so much. And so we'll just keep that really simple like that. I think I might even let some of these hard to hear me but I'll, I'll try to speak up the, with the important things. Maybe a little bit over here. Okay, so 
kind of looks like it's gently blowing and that's what I was looking for. Okay, so now I'm going to start to actually lay down the thicker paint. I'm not worried about the white yet. So wiping my brush off, I'm going to get a size 6. So just jumping right into the blue, when I look over there, I see mostly like this beautiful cobalt right in this passage and then this is darker ultramarine on each side. So I'm going to really push that. So grabbing some ultramarine blue right along this pole. It's dark and I think that looks really cool. And then also right in here. So what you probably can't see is that I'm just laying the paint down nice and thick. Thick pieces of paint. I'll get to the stars at the very end. Now I'm going to go right in. I didn't even wipe my brush off. Just grabbing some nice cobalt. A little bit of ultramarine in there. And then laying that right in this passage in here. Alright, nice and clean and simple. I'll come back through there and pop out some of that with a little bit more intensity too, but um, just laying that in just as a nice gradual transition. Okay, now I'm um, cleaning my brush off. I'm going to clean it off really well in my Gamsol. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm keep, I continue to check because last time we got about 10 minutes into this and I decided it wasn't going to give me any more cell reception. I don't know why, so I'm checking. <laughs> Okay, so now the red, let's get the red in place. So just taking some alizarin crimson, I'm just gonna use that where I see the darker reds when I look at that. And there's darker reds in this passage right up next to the pole. There, oops. And then um, all the way down, wherever it's closer to the pole. And then over here where it's creating sort of a shadow, that's darker down there too. But this is a great little study too to do. You know, I'm, I'm not fussing around with too much with composition or anything. Just, um, just focusing on how this is glowing. I really loved that and that is what I responded to. So that's all I'm gonna really, you know, devote my energy on here. Now these stripes over here are pretty much in shadow. I will add just a few highlights as I come over here, just a little bit. And now I'm gonna grab some more of this cat red uh, medium. And this is gonna be my middle tone red. I'll, I'll mix up a really bright red uh, towards the end. So this is going to be right in this passage where I see the light really flooding through this fabric in here. Just laying down little pieces of paint. And what I notice too is when I get the um, background in here, that darker background passage, this will make it look like it really glows even more. not holding still for me. <laughs> a little bit down here. This is, this is really glowing down here. So we'll get some of that in there. And a little bit here. Just sometimes the light filters through and it does this little dance. Okay, we're getting there. I think I'm going to make this just a little bit taller. This looks like there should be a little bit more blue in relationship to the rest of the flake. Okay, that's good. I feel better about that. <laughs> uh, okay, now to do some white. And I am going to get my smaller brush for that just because this has so many other colors contaminating it. Here it is. Clean this off. more paper towels. I splashed a cam all over my hand. It's not fun. <laughs> Gross. 
Okay, now to do the whites, I'm gonna start it with a little bit darker value and I'm gonna do just that gray tone. So I'm taking the ultramarine blue and burnt sienna and adding a little bit of white to this mixture. Paint those colors together gently and then you add a little bit more as needed. And I twirl my brush when it gets all goopy. I just kind of twirl it because I don't, I don't need to wipe off all that paint on my rake, but it can stay on my palette and it's still usable. So I just twirl it on my palette box. Okay, so looking on that flag, and I'm only gonna paint the passages where I see a darker gray, a darker white. And I don't want it to mix with any of the red at this point. So I keep twirling my brush off on the palette box. But that, that little brush palette twirl is a really great trick to keep in your arsenal. A lot of people have asked me um, over the years, how do you keep, with all that thick paint, how do you keep your brush from getting all loaded and muddy color and stuff? There's just a really simple trick of just twirling your brush and wiping kind of at the same time on your palette box. And it keeps it from getting overloaded. soften my edges a little bit. Get some more of that shadow color mixture. I'll come back through and add some more highlights in here too. Again, allowing my brushwork to show the form of this passage also helps to create the illusion of movement. Just like that. Okay, and then a little down here, I'm just gonna grab this whiter here. All right, now it's take, uh, going right back to that grayer mixture, just a little bit of gray, and I'm going to do it right in here where it, there's the fold and then right where the pole is. So I'm just laying down clean little passages of paint. tell you while I'm doing this, um, just so excited about our Renaissance Academy of Fine Arts. We've got a wonderful group and uh, we're working on drawing this month and uh, it's just fabulous what we're doing um, with it. If you've liked these videos the last few years, um, Take a look at what we're doing. Uh, down, down below, I'll share the links to all those different things that we're doing with that. Before I get going on that too much, I wanna tell you, I'm taking some white and a little bit of cad yellow, not that much. I'm just gonna put it next to it and carefully paint the two together. I'm starting to get in some of these middle tone passages in here where I really want the light to come through. So there is that. And I will punch this up a little bit brighter with some highlights in just a minute. Um, yeah, so anyway, it's a 31-week program, and we are offering it at an incredibly great deal. We've done a lot of competitive research into um, different online academies, and I've never seen anything quite like what we're offering. We start people out from the ground floor, just um, really basic classical techniques to drawing. And um, just moving through that way, moving up through color handling, watercolor, getting into that, getting into um, landscape painting and portraiture. So if you've been enjoying these videos, we're going to do a whole lot more of that. And uh, those, these, these videos that I share are much shorter than what we're doing in the academy. They're much, those are more thorough and they come with worksheets and booklets and all that. So it's pretty exciting to see what's happening there. 
got a great, great group and a whole wonderful year planned. Of, it's great. Lessons, I'm sorry, I'm getting into art speak. <laughs> what I'm doing here is I'm adding a little bit more highlights through this. Just where the sun is kind of filtering through in some of these spots. And then now I'm going to come back through here and really make this look like it's transparent and glowing. So cleaning my brush off, just with the paper towel, grabbing some white. Uh, where do I have a clean spot? <laughs> a little bit of yellow, just making a nice bright mixture of that glowing white yellow color. Okay, looking at that, seeing where the light is hitting its strongest. Up the paint, lay that down, okay. and then there's a few little um, dabity dab places where the, the clay kind of has this ripply thing. So I'm going to catch some of that. Now I'm going to um, add just a few little stars, and I don't want to get carried away, I'll just do a few little dots just to see, um, just to suggest them. it a little bit brighter where it's transparent I'll make those a little brighter but I'm just kind of suggesting the general location of where they might go and then over here where it's definitely in shadow we'll just keep these a little more subtle in here good it's holding still hitting it. Okay. Now um, I'm just going to take and really dry my brush off and just sort of clean up and soften some of these edges where I do want the colors to have sort of that blending quality. So just focusing on some of this red first, the dark red. Coming down here to the dark. And then over in here. Let's get some more of this in there because it's getting muddy. It's better. And these stripes are too big, so I need to shave these down a little. some of this lighter red area. Okay. All right. Starting to feel like, oops, like a flag. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to add some of the background here. And just taking back again my size six, I'm going to just push in a nice dark area in here. And I have my ultramarine blue, some yellow ochre, just to make a nice dark green. And I'm gonna use some Gamsol here. A little bit more of the yellow, because I want it to really show up more green. This also helps so that I can kind of clean up the edges of the flag a little bit in here too. <laughs> So 
while I'm working on this part, I want to tell you about our spring sale that we're having. We are offering our very best portrait painting video at a really awesome sale. And we're very excited about that. This has been one of our best videos. It's gone all over the world and we're really just honored and thrilled that it's been so widely received. Um, so we're offering it from now till June 30th at uh, a reduced price, only $97, but we always throw in a bunch of free stuff too, so it's a really good deal. Um, motorcycles, everybody's out and about. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's... Um, we are excited that, you know, it's part of the offer too. We're offering other discounts as well, just because it's a really special weekend and Memorial Day weekend and um, spring, we got Father's Day coming up. So these are really great gifts too, because um, you, what you do is if you're interested in our videos or becoming a member of the Academy, everybody gets their own private um, member page. So the videos go there and anyway, we are offering also for the, uh, if you buy a portrait video, you can be offered to get the our entire, if you like these plein air videos, eight plein air videos from when we went to Tuscany and Ireland, and uh, all eight of them for, normally they're $300, we're offering them for $197, plus you get the free still life video that we just made for free. So it's a really good deal and uh, we're really excited to be offering this at this point. We haven't offered anything quite like this before. So take a look. Um, I'll share those links when I get back to the studio. My other videos have those links as well, but uh, yeah, so it's pretty cool. So what I'm doing here is I'm just taking different shades of green and some of them have a little bit more yellow ochre and some of these passages in here have a little bit more phthalo green. And I'm just going around the flag like this and just letting it kind of it's my favorite part of this painting a couple of years ago I did a video um, painting fun backgrounds and this was something that I did in there it was just so much fun I'm leaving a passage for the pole because I will still add that here like that. I'm gonna let this get nice and runny in here Leg right there. Get some action. Here. And I want this a little bit lighter over here. So I'm just going to take and kind of rub some of this off. And let's do some more fun stuff with this. This is kind of cool. So I'm going to take just herbs or gamsol and just splatter some on there. Let some of that drip. A little bit over here. Looks really pretty. And then um, I'll add a few more colors to that. So let's get some white in here. These are so fun too. You get up close and watch how all the different colors dribble together. And the different effects that they have down there. Pretty, pretty, pretty. A little yellow ochre, whatever. Um, you gotta be careful though, because if a little's good, then a lot's better. <laughs> yeah, so you just don't wanna overdo it. Uh, now I'm gonna take my little brush and just a little bit of um, yellow ochre burnt sienna, a little white, there's some green or whatever stuff on the palette. I'm just going to throw in some blue. I'm going to suggest the pole here. If you run out of paint, tip your brush over. All right, and I don't want a strong line going right off the canvas because it's kind of distracting. And uh, so, I think that that about wraps that up. You know what, I'm gonna do one more thing. I'm just taking a clean, soft, dry, synthetic brush. I'm gonna soften some of these edges here. 
paper towel, wipe my brush off in between. And down here. And then just kind of cleaning up some of that just to create that feeling of movement. There. All right. Well, so there's that. And I hope that this has been fun and enjoyable and um, that you had a good time. So again, um, those different links, I'm going to put those down below with the um, port painting the portrait, our spring sale, as well as the Renaissance Academy of Fine Arts. And um, I wanted to remind you, to, if you liked what you saw, to go ahead and subscribe and hit the little bell to be notified of um, when I put up another video. And I wanted to thank you so much for your likes. And for those of you who've already subscribed, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Um, so that's it. You guys have a wonderful Memorial Day weekend if you celebrate it in whatever part of the world you're in. <laughs> um, thank you guys. Have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe. Bye-bye.